welcome back to day 11 of our workshop. Today we are looking at response poetry, primarily in the form of afters. And basically all these are, are poems that you write in conversation with another poem that already yeah. exists, giving credit to the original author. Um, a really cool thing that happens with these, sometimes, not very often, but often enough you can find it if you really want to, are when you get chains of afters. So one person wrote to an original poem, and then somebody else wrote to both of those poems, and somebody else wrote to all three, and then somebody else wrote to all four, and so on and so on. And they're really fun and really goofy, and I love them. So today we are going to explore what an after is, how to properly cite that, and then of course there's going to be a prompt at the end. So hold tight while I switch to my screen so you can see what's going on. Alrighty, so these are all afters that I found on Instagram. And the first one is 15 ways to stay alive after death knee got, got linked. I hope I'm saying that right, but the font is a little hard to read. One, yes, but creative liberties were taken. Two, no, I was not made aware of that. Three, practice using your inside vo voice. Four, practice holding your water under your breath underwater. Five, Mayo Clinic's how to guide. Six, keep the spare key wedged between your back and your bra band. Seven, learn to discern when Google is your friend, when Google is your nemesis. Eight, drop a pin, share with mommy. Nine, dress the wound with maxi pads and masking tape. Ten, grow your nails out. Eleven, Irish exits. Twelve, always feed the stray cat. Thirteen, always keep a pen in your coat pocket. 14. Invest in a non-slip yoga mat. 15. Don't forget to block him on Snapchat. Another one. Things you're not allowed to look at after Skylar Saunders. The burning tears in my eyes. The anxious thoughts I suppress. The tiny hands holding up my smile. My hands behind the wheel. The stab wounds on my back. The demons in the clouds. My finger on the trigger. The gun pressed to my head. The poems I don't have the strength to face. The ones I don't have the courage to write. The ones I'll never share. So as you're starting to see from these, you have enough information to go find the original poem should you want to. Um, you can also write an after of music, and that's what happened in this case. Double Vision after Craig Finn. Once I started dancing, the secrets fell from my eyes like a transaction. So I belly up to the bar to refract it, something close to death for a little bit. You see, timing is the essence Timing is of the essence, he muttered while biting his cigarette, so I called off work and left it all on the line, but now I'm curbside and ghosted and wondering what to do about today. Snips of whiskey at the cinema to quiet all the stimulus, time slips, then I'm shaken awake with strobe lights and his hands on my hips, two more sips, lost in the music. The whole thing felt like subtraction, I mean a distraction, tonguing the neck of death for a little bit. And then, finally, when I say want to read my poetry, I mean after by at poetry by E. When I say want to read my poetry, I mean do you want to know what I think but never say? Do you want to come inside my head and play? Do you want to see the remnants of a rotting heart? I mean come join me in hating my dying art. Pull up a chair, sit, please, at least pretend to care. I mean, I want someone to understand. I just, I don't need a shoulder to cry on, but can I lean on yours for a while? I mean, can I lay naked with my head resting on your chest? Can I place my, your palm in mine? Lie and tell me I'm great. Validate my feelings, tell my fake worth for one night. Make me forget that I have been hurt. I mean, read me like an open book. Salivate my hungry eyes. And when you're done touching every page, please don't throw me away. So today, your task is to find a poem, any poem you want, use the skills that you've been taught, use the resources that I've shown you, use the resources you already had, go explore for a while and find a poem that really speaks to you and write a response to it. Remember to title it, af uh, give it your own title or untitled or however you want to do that, and then after the author's name. And if you want to be very specific and help your reader, you can also put the name of the poem. So I believe in you guys. It's day 11. You're fantastic. And I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another workshop. Happy writing.